Good morning and welcome back to Community Couch Time, a daily talk show where we talk about things that are important, things that are happening in our community, in our state, in this country, and internationally. Oftentimes, the topics that we discuss are ones that others aren't talking about. And the question is, why aren't we? And so now a word from Ms. Wallace. Good morning, great minds and good people. I'm Ms. Tiffany Wallace, and thank you for having me for Community Couch Time. Now, let's start the discourse. I ain't asked to be your daddy. I did the best I could. Kenzie? How's daddy's little girl? It was just one joke. It always is. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Community Couch Time. How are you, Ms. Wallace? I'm doing excellent, Ms. Cardona. Enjoying our weekend. Glad to be back. And so excited to have our special guest, Mr. Jonathan L. Jackson. Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I am so appreciative. Um, it's been a while since we've gotten to hang out. So it was really good to have you here. And um, and so we thought of inviting you because you have such an interesting um, past. You're so talented and you're, you know, quite frankly, just a really good person and really good person in the community. And so we just have a few Thank questions you. for you. I wanted you to talk about like how theater and film and the work that you do, like how mm -hmm. it's meaningful beyond just like, creation just beyond your own expression like can you share a little bit with us about that yeah so for me I always say like as a writer and as a creative I don't write until I hear right so like a lot of people tell you crazy if you hear voices in your head and sometimes crazy is a derogatory term we try not to use it in the year of our lord 2021 but like I when I'm writing like when I'm writing a project I literally hear these characters like in my mind going back and forth and what I started to realize was that there is true power in creating, right? Um, because like, for example, when I work with kids, when I work with people, sometimes I work in classes or in schools where there are no black people, but mostly everything I teach is about the black experience. So I asked them, what informs that for you? Like, if you don't know any black people, what informs what black is to you, right? And most people, what they say is media, some form of media, whether it's a movie, television, music, sports, one girl even said memes one time. So what we create makes a huge difference and it matters. So for me, it's, that's always been like my revolutionary act is creating things. Uh, like the, the play I did, Crying Out For You, um, I went through a whole experience as a kid and, it, even, if, and even as a young adult when I was trying to figure out um, who my biological father was. And it took me so many different paths so what I did when I wrote that play was I, I played out every scenario that I went through to figure out who my biological father was. I played, I, I made that scenario a character in the show. So at the end, I had about seven characters and I said, okay, now how do I get all of these characters in the same room to talk about their experience? And I had a group of girls, I was teaching theater at the time. So I did a group of girls who get into a fight because y'all know people be fighting at school sometimes. Don't be fighting in the bathroom, kids. We know what y'all doing. Y'all all don't have to use a bathroom at the same time. Um, um, they get into a fight and they end up getting in-house suspension. So you got these two groups of girls who are beefing and in-house suspension together. And while they are there, they all find out that none of them live at home with their biological fathers. So while in there, they come up with this plan to lock the school down um, and, and demand and say they're not leaving until their fathers come and talk to them. So... And the play ended up becoming crazy. Like the reaction to it and the response to it was crazy to the point where like one day we did it at the school and they stopped classes for the rest of the day, brought in counselors from other schools to put kids in different rooms and just have them decompress what they saw and what they experienced. And like, to me, that's the art. That's the reason, that's the why. So now it's not only just to tell other people because honestly I don't write for I write for my audience and if you can get something from it that's great but I write so people like me can be seen and feel seen on on stage and on camera 
or and sometimes it's not sad like sometimes it's just fun stuff like one time i literally took a, i have a web series called upstairs that's on youtube and it's not this deep thing it's it's really a group chat made manifest is what it is it's me and my friends in a group chat being messy being raggedy being trash and i kind of made that into a web series <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out. That sounds really good. <laughs> it's listen, I, and it's it's called upstairs. It, it's called upstairs because I always say like, what would living single look like from the upstairs apartment? That's kind of where the idea came from. Um, like if you were following these raggedy guys, like because to me, like I know sometimes it sounds like I'm really old, but I just turned thirty this year, and I know right. And um, so all of this stuff has happened, and I'm like kind of just now getting to this next phase of life and I, it's one of those situations for me where the the art and the creating is really how you have a voice because people this is gonna sound bad but a lot of people they don't read books they're not going to watch the documentaries they're going to watch the movies and they're going to take that as fact they're going to take that as law you know and when it's all said and done what you know if, if your life was a movie if somebody did your biopic what would it say about you you know who would it say that you are and I think we're all writing a movie, like we're all the, excuse me, it's like the Shakespeare quote, you know, all the world's a stage and all the men and women are the players. They have their entrances and they have their exits. We're all gonna make an entrance. We're all gonna make an exit in this thing called life. And for me, what you create along the way is the mark that you leave on the world. So like August Wilson is no longer with us, but we have this century cycle. You know, I, when we watch, we can go watch Zoot Suit and, and learn about, culture and learn about Kalo and what is these what are these different things mean and the fact what are what were the zoot suit riots what happened now we can we have a play like honestly I didn't read about the zoot suit riots in my books we didn't talk about that in school when I was growing up but now we have a play we have a film we can go watch yeah. these things so I think for me being an artist and being creative and it's and it's, it's almost like taking that because when you're an athlete combined like think about both questions now when you're an athlete, what you're really doing is you're entertaining, you're performing, whether you got a helmet or a jersey on, that's your costume, yeah. right? Um, and you have a beginning, you have a middle, it's called halftime, you have an end of the game and there's a winner and there's a loser, it's a story. So it's kind of just taking that same energy and just pushing it to different avenues and different parts and portions of your story, whatever yeah. it is. That's wonderful. Amazing. That's really profound and just so important to hear and think about in that way, especially with students who have disabilities and differences, right? You know, like you can still do things after yeah. or during that time. So totally. I think you're, and then at the end of the day, your difference is your distinction, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's what makes you distinct. It doesn't make you disabled. It doesn't make you at a disadvantage. It's your distinction, you know, cause, and you're, and you have to find that audience that's looking for your distinction because it's going to matter at some point. And that brings us to our Community Couch Time daily journal question. If someone wrote a play or film about you, a biopic, what would it be about? What is your distinction? We want to know. Thank you to Jonathan L. Jackson for spending this time with us. And thank you for going on this journey.